In February 2000, intense floods left hundreds of thousands of people homeless in the southern African nation of Mozambique. The disaster was caused by torrential rainfall and a tropical cyclone reaching winds of up to 160 miles per hour. Mozambique's urban poor, many of whom lived in slums around the capital Maputo, were most heavily impacted. The reason? Poor communities located in low-lying, flood-prone zones with poor drainage and inadequate sanitation. Since 2000, Mozambique has experienced regular intense flooding, which scientists attribute to the effects of climate change. We are seeing more and more the effects of climate change on the southern region of Africa. And these effects include heavier rainfall, more severe flooding, and more intense droughts. Around Maputo, residents have been forced to leave their homes due to rising water levels and overflowing waste. Passamos mal porque fica cheio de água, até a água de casa de banho sai para fora. Aqueles bichinhos da casa de banho passamos mal. Temos que andar a tirar a água para fora. After 2000, the government of Mozambique stepped up its use of information and communication technology, or ICT, as a tool to reduce the hazards of natural disasters associated with climate change. In the country's southern provinces, this meant implementing an early warning system that forecasts heavy rainfall and simulates its impact on rivers and lakes. In Maputo and other cities, local government also began using geographic information systems, or GIS, to map and better plan the growth of their urban areas. Vamos melhorar a gestão do solo urbano, vamos poder atribuir os doados com muita segurança, vamos melhorar a receita municipal, a gestão dos transportes, entre outras atividades. Despite the government's efforts, however, those communities most heavily impacted by the effects of climate change are still failing to see improved conditions. So what we're seeing in Mozambique is very similar to what's happening in many other countries where the capacity for maintaining and sustaining costly information and technology systems is low. For example, when systems in these countries break down, their governments often do not have adequate resources for proactively addressing the various issues in time. To combat the problem, a new report from the World Bank on ICTs and climate change suggests more collaboration between governments and the communities they serve. Social media platforms, widespread mobile technology, and the internet all can be powerful tools for the most vulnerable citizens, allowing them to work with governments to devise community-based solutions to the effects of climate change. Given the diverse nature of the needs of poor communities, it may not always be possible for these governments to themselves uh, implement ICT solutions that can address each and every uh, specific need. To this end, the World Bank is promoting platforms like Tarifa, a mobile phone-based tool that helps citizens submit information in real time to their governments. This allows a local resident in Zimbabwe to use a mobile phone to report overflowing garbage clogging drains near his home, or, as is being done in Tanzania, a citizen to create a map of his previously unmapped neighborhood. Creation of such platforms for countries like Mozambique and others in Africa is helping governments to improve conditions in burgeoning cities and to work more closely with their most vulnerable citizens.